Welcome to Riftbreaker. This is the prologue of it, so it's a free version, but this game is pretty cool. So Planet Galacta 37, Circus Belt, Milky Way. I can't read the rest. It looks good for being an alpha, or a prologue actually. A lot of people like this prologue. It's been overwhelmingly positive. This looks real cool. Alright, look at this, how good it looks already. It's supposed to come out later this year though, so I'm excited for it. Field base setup, ooh. Yeah, the graphics look real good. This is the same team as me like um the Defense Metamorph X Defense Towers and like a Zombie he Zombie Road or Zombie Rider HD. Some good games known. It just looks so good. Look at this. But yeah, the best way to describe this game is basically it's like a Factorio. So I'm kind of excited for that because it's like a Factorio mixed with Diablo. Oh, that just looks so cool. So yeah. All right, got the settings guys, and now let's start the prologue. So you're playing pre-alpha build, so this is pre-alpha, but still it looks so good. All right, so we got our default configuration, WSD, pretty easy, one, two, A, Q, E. Okay, Y for matter factory, so yeah. Let's go. What are we doing? All right, there's us. Successful. Okay, good job. Sensors online, weapons activated. We're ready Very cool. to go. We get all stuff. Please report. That's Houston, us. This is Ashley. Reporting rift jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. All right. So they're going to teach me how to do that. Construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't all right. So I got a sword. Building HQ. Let's all right. for deposit and set up our base close to it. Is this move quick? It's probably right. a matter of time before the natives spot us. Let's hold space, we and so we drill us ourselves. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. Am already ahead of yourself. So yeah, her this so enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally, let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. All right. Construct the headquarters building. What's over here? Do we have any more ores this way? Bunch of wildlife. Don't see anyone. So let's go like right here. Sure. So we gotta click on. Whoa! Jeez, that's big. Okay. So there we go. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. Captain Novak. Let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. Get some more. expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. All right. So left control again. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. So we go here to digging. But yeah, like I said, this is like factorial meets Diablo like because of the combat wise, I guess. And it's got very good reviews. I think it's reviewed like 1800 reviews. It's overwhelmingly positive. Everyone likes it on Steam. So yeah, I was one of the factorial, but I didn't like the graphics. I didn't like how the game was. This seems like a perfect mixture for me. In my opinion, because I didn't like um, Satisfactory, but this works. Huge amounts of power to operate with. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines going are green. less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation. Even if power lines are not visible. Alright. Remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Ooh, Energy resources. Distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. Alright, I already did that. That's drilling now. Okay. Let's kinda of explore before they tell us to do something. So yeah, like factorial, you get instead of aliens, it's the wildlife that comes get you. Oh, well, that's what those are. Oh, too late. <laughs> Let's Are you man, man? And Sentinel towers. There we go. Defenses on the western direction. Get out of here. Change the beginning of this exercise. Yeah. Captain Novak, we 
we all know your renowned scientific background, but your combat performance in the previous simulation was far from spectacular. Slaughtering indigenous creatures was never my area of expertise. Since you've already done this a couple of times, we've introduced some new additions to this course. We'll see what your area of expertise really is. All right, I need more stuff. Build at least 30 walls and six sentinel towers. So I'm gonna put a tower in that corner. Oh yeah, there we go, get it, get him. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Like the voice acting everything. I'm kind of curious when this comes out. It didn't say on the page because it's like very well polished. So I'm excited for it. Now we're just kind of, oh, did I not, I'm not building what's building northeast. I got to build this way. I just weigh in resources, I guess. But I believe the Do Diablo combat is in this, and I believe there's like loot. I think you get like cool loot and everything. And of course, you got the Factorio building, production train, and everything, and getting resources. You have like, you're on a house on planet, so it's all alien. Go on, keep on going. We're getting there. I got enough walls. I just gotta get central towers. Which I guess I should have. I don't know how to destroy stuff because I would like one there and there. Oh well. It's fine. Now I'm just waiting for carbonite, so very slow. I should manually do this. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. I was wondering that. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. Alright, uh, so AI core that are required to manage more buildings. So I need that. So what do I need for that? I need carbonite and iron. So I need more electricity. So I need to make this, which needs carbonite. All right, and start digging because I don't believe it's gonna mine because I need carbonite. Just keep mine. But yeah, this game, I guess like the story, there's actually a story to this. And you're in a simulation, I guess she is, for the planet um, 37 Glaga, Glata, whatever. And so yeah, so she's through like a tutorial mission. She's supposed to be a scientist. I supposed to want to kill the wildlife, but she gotta learn anyways. So just keep in mind. So yeah, it's like nice and chill. It's pretty cool. Even looks down if you look at the bottom, there's like abilities, like a mine, the four bill looks like a nuke, fire looks like a radar, you have health and a shield, you have ammo, I actually shot an accident, so I'm missing three bullets. A build and AR core. I got that. Yeah. Okay, now we just need more walls and such. And I need to make my power again. And I'm making my last build a um Sentinel Towers, my last one. There we go. We are on power grid. Distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. She made the power dude. These basic defenses should give us a bit of security, but we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. Already heavy, dude. I'm almost there. So we have 40 seconds till attack comes. Kind of curious what the monster's gonna be or aliens gonna be or wildlife. What do they call it? I mean, there we go. Oh uh, yeah, let's see. I wonder how long this actual pollock is. Seems like a lot of people have about the same about two hours into this game. So it looks like you got a fair amount for a alpha, a pre-alpha Gary never has a demo. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this game. It's very cool because, like I said, I always wanted to get a factorial, but it always put me off. Even though it's pretty cool how mod, how like you can mod it and everything, and you can play as friends. So I'm kind of curious if this is gonna have the same gist or what. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get attacked. Let me fill this wall. Prepare to fight. No, that's not a good sign. All right. Ready for them, Mr. Riggs. Are we? Remember to use repair kits if necessary. Which one are- oh, that's my one ability, I think. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of them. Gee, that's a lot of them. Just go over there. Oh, that's a lot of them. Whoa! It's so cool, the little tiny things. I wonder if there's gonna be like- as you can see, there's two, um, so far I see two wildlife. I got like the wrappers above me, and whatever these are. I can't zoom in and not, can I? I can't zoom in anymore. To actually see what these are. Got more? Looks like they're all dead. Not detecting any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. I guess that's a good sign. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long-distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Mr. Riggs is the only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown. Just let us do our job. All right. All right, so we got to sell something because I kind of can't get out. That was a mistake. Anyways, come over here. So it's Galata. 
and sell you to get in and out. I don't think there's actually a wall. And you can upgrade tools and you can repair your tool. I don't know what that says. We should further secure and expand our base. You can build more defenses or go out and clear out hostile creatures' nests to prevent further attacks. We Ooh, didn't okay. have time to study the creatures that are attacking us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. We'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one. This looks like a hive of some sort. Let's look inside to see if it's occupied. Well, they're getting a little bigger. And they can shoot. Ooh, I can shoot those too. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of them. So like, these look like almost like fish looking dog things. And then the other ones are like, oh, scorpion, big huge scorpion things. Whoa. And they take a lot of bullets. Ooh. They're not messing around. Okay, so there's like, it's the same like creature, but different like upgrades to it maybe? We got one that can shoot, one that's melee, and the one just a big huge tank. Look at that guy. Kind of looks like the Borderlands dog from the first game. What do you call those guys? Can't think of it. But yeah, so that was a hive. So you go around taking a hive to make it, oh, this is the hive for sure. And then there we go. I mean, just look at this. Yeah, get it. Look all that damage. I have damage in the on. Look how strong I am. Do about 100 damage a swing. Pretty good. And then we destroyed the hive. I imagine no more will spawn from this area. This will decrease the strength of their attacks. All right. Gather all the research samples and rare resources that were in this nest. We can study them later and use them to craft better equipment. All right. And I think those are a small version of them too. All right. Did I get everything? I think I got everything here. I'm going to go to the iron deposit. So it's like a wall. So like they're in a little cove. Can't go through the rocks. Get some resources, whatever these are. Don't really know what these are. Man, this thing's What's way this? out there. Whoa. This shouldn't be here. It's an error in the simulation's construct. This environment has been created by combining long-distance quantum scans of Galatea 37 and that looks other dangerous. planets that share similar properties. Gathering all of this data has taken many years, and we were only able to scan a small fraction of the planet. It's enough to know that we can survive there. Oh, I can't lot. wait to make the jump. Everything is going to be new there and waiting to be studied and explored. And waiting to be us. Let's not get dramatic, Mr. Riggs. A five meters tall mech suit with miniguns and power blades should be enough to fend off a few hungry creatures. The I wouldn't be saying that. A single species of creatures around this nest. We should be careful. Yeah, I can see that. There's a lot of big guys. No ammo, I think. I I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. There's a lot of them. More ammunition for your guns. Yeah, I can yes, use some. That is an important building. Yes, it is. Are they actually getting like bloody on from more you hit them? That's cool if it does that. Oh, come on. Come on. Tap away, me. Tap away. Alright. Battle of those. Don't want you guys shoot me. Get out of here. Of course, they're easy to kill. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let's go finish off this mess, and I might end it there. We can continue this later if you guys want to. But it is very far. And like I said, people got about two hours of it. I may record for roughly 20 minutes. Don't know how long it's going to be on editing. We'll see. Come on, keep going. There's a lot of stuff coming after us. And they can shoot through their nest. That's cheating. Okay, we shoot through that. He's not expecting that. And we destroyed the nest. Destroy Don't get hit. Don't Oh, get hit. Species of creatures around here. They appeared as if all of them were working together against us. I guess they are different I species. If that's just a part of the simulation, or if the Galatean creatures are really going to be that smart. That would make studying them much more interesting. And much more dangerous. That is true. It looks like we've cleared them out. Let's hope this will give us some time to build up our base. That's like a pond, maybe? A little more of them. Jeez. I, I just wanted to find that iron ore, but... It looks like I'm lost. I guess I should use a map. I guess I go to X marks where we're going. Cut down the jungle. This game looks so good. Ooh, don't I want to go on that? No, it won't let me go on that. Okay. Maybe a different suit upgrade will allow me to? Yeah, it showed up on a map too, this green stuff. Who knows? Oh, there's a lot of people here. Almost out of my shield. That's not a good thing. Keep it going. Keep it going. Just keep chopping through the forest. Oh, jeez. I just want to get to X. Let me go. Ooh, more shooty guys. 
All right. So it's kind of weird. So she's supposed to go in this this like alien world. She's supposed to rip jump to it. They don't tell her anything about it, or they don't know about it. Maybe she's slowly learning. No, let's come up here. This looks there we like go. A large Build a steel factory in this area and power it with a carbonium power plant. Yeah, why do we put a base here? It has both doors here. This is like perfect. It's a little alcove. I would put my base here if I knew this. Oh, do I get by you? Get out of here. Get. Alright. Alright, so build a carbon power plant, an iron factory, and an energy connector. Alright. Get out of here, little guys. Look at all this. This is like a perfect spot. So, control. We want a urbanite power plant. Is this supposed to go on? So, it must be built on top of. Through that center this way. So you go there. Iron factory. This is produced iron must be placed on iron deposit. Alright, so let's go like there. Now we just need energy connectors to connect those two. So let's go over here. And then see draws a nice little line to them and they're connected. Okay, Sweet. Mr. Riggs, we've got steel production up and running. Ashley. I would strongly advise you to place a rip portal near this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. Oh, cool. It would also be advised to place additional sentinel towers to defend this outpost. Or is Remember to that. connect the towers to the power grid using energy connectors. Alright, put towers here, here. I can't stop playing. And then, oh, it's not gonna be even. Well, yeah, well, rotate. Oh, okay. And then we walled off this area. Let's wall off this area, and then I think we'll end it. I'm really enjoying this, actually. I said, I never got to play Factorio. I always wanted to, so this is kind of working out. Okay, the AI core for that. So let's just wall this out. And rotate this. There we go. So yeah, we got our iron game produced, and you can see there's a limited number of resources and carbon. Nice little thing. Now let's get a warp portal in. What's that look like before end? Oh, that's just a nice little portal. Okay. Put a light right here, sure. Doesn't look like we're gonna put anything there. And we're good. We just gotta put towers, but we do that layer. So then here I get to warp back to my other base, maybe? So open the map. Select tab. any of the available rift oh. portals to instantly teleport to that location. Alright, so I teleport back rifts over. Is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Where did I... Let me put a thing here. Could swore. Let's put the gate... There we go. Right there. So, I think that's going to be it. This game is real cool. If you guys are into the Factorio type of thing, you know, like uh, Diablo Combat, I think it's real good. has a story. Pretty good progression. I built this a little bit in this amount of time. Looks like we're going to need power here. So, I'll we'll have to add more power later. Because we're not going to do this now. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He's doing it now. Do it live now. So, I really did enjoy this. If you want to see more of this, I'm willing to like finish off this little prologue tutorial bit. Because I gotta make ammo for my gun. It's E. Oh, there's more guns. Ooh. And then there's like a shield. Is this a shield? Yes, it is. Then I got whatever this is. I got Ion Blaster. Oh, this is so cool. So much stuff to do and so little time. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Comment down below. And like always, bye.